So I call him and tell him all the information that Detective Ram has discovered, and he just didn't believe that Baldolphine stole my phone for 20 minutes from the windowsill of a shower in the bathroom of the movie theater. Like, who wouldn't believe that? Alright, fasten your seatbelts because it's time for another episode of Ram Dreams. You know, the series where I, well, have a weird dream in real life and then write it down and then later on, you know, make a video retelling you the story, basically. So yeah, we've got a weird one today. This one happened just the other day. I was sleeping in the chair because... Sometimes I just fall asleep in the chair and I don't go to the bed, so I have some really weird dreams when I sleep in the chair, you know. And also apple juice causes weird dreams as well, if you didn't know that. If you drink a lot of apple juice before bed, it causes some... <laughs> but today, I'm going to tell you about my dream where Belle Delphine stole my phone from a shower in the movie theatre. Now, for you Americans, you know, we don't actually say movie theatre here, we say cinema. So if I say cinema in the video, just know what I'm talking about. I had to use movie theater for the American quick, but you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so, but yeah, let's get into this. So it was on a dull Monday evening. Me and a bunch of friends went to the cinema in the UK, or the movie theater. It was like a friend from uni and his friends. But then also one friend from boarding school, because if you don't know, I went to boarding school in Ghana for six years. So one random guy from boarding school who, I mean, we were friends, but we weren't. We went like that, we didn't go cinema together, so I don't know why he was here in this dream coming to the cinema with us, but, you know, it's a dream, right? Plus, we haven't spoken since we graduated, which was back in, like, 2012, but while we were in line queuing to buy tickets, um, which I don't actually know what we were going to see, by the way, we were, just, we were just queuing in line to buy tickets, I just happened to realize that I stunk really bad, so I decided I needed to go and take a shower. Luckily, this cinema actually has showers. I don't know why dream logic so i'm taking my shower in the bathroom of this movie theater and the place is pretty dead empty slang i sound like an old person <laughs> but yeah the place is dead so no one was in the area and the showers look like the ones in boarding school which I don't really know how to explain it without a photo but it's just like little small rooms that you stand in and there's like a door and it's like a, like a third world shower, just, just picture that. So I place my towel on top of the door, like we used to do in boarding school. Yeah, it's like a little hole above the door, so you can like hang a towel on the door as you shower. And then I placed my phone on the windowsill. Now I had a Galaxy S7, which I actually just upgraded to an S10, but for some reason in the dream, I was still on my S7. I don't know what happened to my clothes, but there were no clothes in this scene, because I had clothes on before, but the clothes were gone. So after I finished taking the shower, I basically just put my towel on and just left the bathroom. So I'm back in the cube of the cinema to try and buy tickets, you know, with no clothes on, just my towel on my waist, and all my friends are gone. At this point, I just assume that, you know, they probably just bought the tickets and went in, so I just need to, like bring them back so they can let me in with the ticket, right? But then I realized I'd left my phone on the windowsill of the shower and I just really couldn't be bothered to go back and get it. So I figured if I just wait here, one of my friends will realize that I'm still not in or I haven't called them or whatever and they'll come out and let me in. Plus they show adverts for like, or commercials for like 30 minutes when the movie's supposed to be starting. So I'm not really in a hurry or anything, you know what I mean? So eventually my friend from boarding school who's randomly in the UK movie theater with me, comes out and says yo let's go in remember at this point i'm still in my towel with no phone so i tell him yo we have to go back and get my phone from the shower on the windowsill so we go back to the bathroom and try and find the exact shower where i left my phone on the windowsill but now it's not there naturally in my head i'm thinking it's a fucking galaxy s7 it's not exactly an iphone 11 pro max or an s10 or whatever like who the fuck would want to steal my old phone but then i realized we could have been in the wrong bathroom altogether now earlier in the dream it felt like there was only one bathroom with a set of showers in it but then at this point of the dream the whole shit just turned into a fucking labyrinth of different bathrooms that all looked identical and it was just like, what the fuck? And they were all like intertwined and like very hard to distinguish between each other. It was like a, f it was insane. We must have spent like 20 minutes going from bathroom to bathroom, searching all these showers in these windowsills, trying to find this phone. And they really all did look the same, except some of them were dirtier than others. Like some of the bathrooms had like piss and shit on the floor. Like not and shit, like piss and shit. You know what I mean? Like 
slang. And it felt like we were going in circles until we went back to the original bathroom and then I checked the shower and my phone was actually there. Now I could have sworn that we went to that shower already and that the phone was gone. So in my mind I was thinking someone took the phone, used it or something and then placed it back there. But my friend was just thought oh yeah you're just overreacting like yo let's just go back into the theater so i took the phone and went in to go and watch the movie so in the middle of the movie i powered on my phone okay side note i actually hate when people use their phones in the theater by the way like i really fucking hate that i don't even do that in real life just just in case you're a bit mad at that i don't actually do that it was a dream okay so in the middle of the movie i powered on my phone to find a bunch of new pictures in the camera section of my phone that i know i didn't take it was like eight new selfies of Belle Delphine. And it was in the camera section, so it's not like someone just saved them onto the phone. It was in the camera section. I mean, on Android, you can actually just move photos into different folders, but it was real, trust. Which meant that she would have had to have taken the pictures with my phone when I couldn't find the phone. I mean, she had a whole 20 plus minutes to do that, right? So it is believable, right? I mean, at least with dream logic, obviously not in the real fucking world. Bear in mind that we didn't see Belle Delphine in the cinema at all, like when we were queuing or anything. I had not actually noticed her there and there was no proof to suggest that she was there except for these photos. I then proceeded to get really angry and I just deleted the pictures. So after we finished watching the movie and I went home, I remembered that Belle Delphine is someone with clout, a lot of clout, and if I could prove that she stole my phone, I could make a video on it and get views, right? Because they're views. And luckily my phone gallery has a recycle bin feature, so I just restored the images and proceeded to do some digging. Detective Rem was in the cut and after doing some digging, I found out some things. So I realized that the date of creation of the pictures matched the time that my phone was missing for about 20 minutes in the cinema. Even though my phone was taken at night and these selfies ranged from day and night and random different locations that weren't the cinema, but it was dream logic. Trust me, they were legitimate selfies from the phone. So I went on a social media to see if those pictures have been posted before to try and debunk my theory. But her Instagram didn't exist. Turns out she was on some really weird fucking social network that doesn't exist in real life, but it was just some weird fucking shit. I don't know how to explain it. Some dodgy social network. And a few of those pictures that were on my phone were posted onto that social network on her page after they were saved onto my phone proving that she used my phone. I then proceeded to check her Patreon. And in the stream, she had over 140,000 patrons, which is way more than in real life, but I just started to wonder why the fuck someone with that many patrons would steal my phone just to take selfies. It didn't make any sense at all. So after that, I decided to check my SIM card and it looked like the SIM tray area at the top of the phone was just kind of busted. So I tried to pull out the SIM card and realized the SIM wasn't even mine. So I assumed she chucked mine out and threw hers in, which really fucking annoyed me. Luckily, I bought a new phone contract recently. Galaxy S10, great phone, by the way. Totally love it. This is actually real. I did actually buy a Galaxy S10 on contract. That's a real thing that happened in real life. But the point is I had a new chip lying around to activate. I was still using my old chip because why activate the new one if the old one's still working, right? But before going to activate my new chip, I decided to call my friend who I went to the cinema with to find out what number was on my phone. You know, like when you call someone and they see what number is on there and then they tell you the number. Because apparently I forgot that it actually shows what number you have on the phone on the phone. Trust me, back in the early 2000s, phones didn't used to do that. You'd have a chip in your phone and if you didn't know the number, you wouldn't know what number your own phone chip was until you called someone else with it. I know, right? It was the most basic of things, but that was how it used to be. But then I was afraid that my friend wouldn't pick up if he saw a number that he wasn't familiar with. So I went to my landline. Yes, we still have a landline. <laughs> oh, God. And I had to go and plug it in because we usually keep it off because no one uses that shit anymore. It's just there. It comes with the internet. And the plan was to power it on, call my friend from the landline to let him know that my phone is on a foreign chip and I'm about to call him with that chip to find out what the number is. And it, I, this really doesn't make sense at this point, I know. So I call him and tell him all the information that Detective Ram has discovered and he just didn't believe that Belle Delphine stole my phone for 20 minutes from the windowsill of a shower in the bathroom of the movie theater. Like, who wouldn't believe that? Okay, really though, who in their right mind would believe that? I was fucked. I knew he wasn't gonna believe it. I mean, I'd be pleasantly surprised if he did believe it, but I mean, I was like, yeah, this is a hopeless case. And that's when I woke up. 
And for like a good two minutes after waking up, I was pretty upset that this wasn't real and it was just a dream. Because now I couldn't make a big video accusing an e-celeb of stealing my phone. But then I just realized I could turn it into a dream video and still get the clickbait in the cloud anyway. So, <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, these weird dreams, man. Like, oh my god, like this is some insane shit. But hopefully you guys enjoy that. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Um, if I get any more weird dreams, you know I'm gonna write that shit down, make another video on it because. I know you guys really enjoyed the last part, um, it's, very, it's doing really well on the channel, so make sure to check that video out if you haven't seen that one already, and yeah man, it's your boy, Rem, Remulus, Rem Gang, and I'm out.